Hello my beautiful YouTube family, welcome to another strong and stretchy flow. Today we'll be working quite deeply into our hips, really opening up our adductors, our hamstrings and playing with a little bit of arm balance play towards the end. If you are interested in finding the full length practice, uh, the 60 minute practice, that will be live on my online membership platform Tana Studio next week. So you're welcome to check that out. The link is in the description box below and there's a three day free trial if you are keen on deepening your practice with me. All right, when you're ready to begin, let's get right into it. So you're welcome to find a cross-legged seat with your right foot in front of your left foot. So Kastana here at around about the front of your space. And just taking a moment to settle here. You can rest your hands on your knees. Gently peel the shoulders down and back. And then close down your eyes. Taking a moment to tune in to check in with how your body is feeling today, right now. And then simply connect to your breath here for three full rounds, finding your ujjayi breath, keeping your mouth closed, allow the breath to fill up into the abdominal cavity. And then very slowly release through the nose. Two more rounds like that. And then with that next out breath, you can slowly open up your eyes and reach both of your arms up to the sky. Find length as you lift out of the waist. Find a nice juicy twist over to the right side, right fingers behind you, left hand grabs onto the right knee, peel the right shoulder back, sipping the air in. And then with your out breath, right arm wraps around the left knee, crossing the arms, tuck the chin into the chest space, round completely, protracting the shoulder blades, breathing into the back of your heart space. Keep the cross of your arms now and find eagle arms as your palms gently connect. Start to pull the elbows up to the sky and then exhale round in and forwards. So in this position, we start to open up the spine. So more inhale, cow variation in this shape and then exhale round forwards. So one more time, inhale, lift through the elbows, lift the chest and then exhale to round. And gently unravel the arms, take the fingers behind you. Find a lift through the hips, doesn't need to be a huge shape. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, just to a point where you feel some expansion across the chest space, your pecs. And then gently lower your bum down. Change the cross of your legs, left foot forwards, arms stretch long, feeling the energy move up the arms. And then find your juicy twist to the left side. Right hand gently presses into the left knee, peeling your left shoulder back. Breathe in. As you breathe out, left arm weaves around to catch onto the right knee, protracting shoulders, finding full flexion of the spine in this rounded shape here. Breathe in. As you breathe out, find your eagle arms as your palms gently clasp together. Pull the elbows up to the ceiling, arch the spine, and then we round the spine and contract. Find that breath now. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, round forwards. Let's go for one more. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, round the spine. Unravel the arms, stretch the fingers behind you. Coming onto your fingerprints, press the knees into the floor as you peel the front of your body, your chest, your abdomen, your hips forwards. And then softly lower your bum down to find a seat. Now we start to grab onto this right leg and find kind of like a half happy baby situation, really working into the adductors and the hamstrings right away here. So grab onto the foot with the right hand and start to peel this right knee back as far as you can. Take a nice relaxed breath. 
and then we will gently weave this leg behind us, finding pigeon pose. So you're welcome to bend into the back knee if you're not feeling quite ready for a full pigeon. Let's lift the chest on the in-breath. And then on the out breath, take a nice gentle fold as you lean forwards. And with that exhale, make your way back up. Swing your right leg forwards and let's take it to the other side. Inhale, left hand to the edge of the left foot. Start to guide this left knee backwards, starting to feel into your adductors, your inner thighs open up. Let's take this left leg behind us, finding whatever pigeon variation you had on the first side, pressing the outer right thigh into the floor, lift your chest, and then softly make your way down into a fold. So opening up our outer thighs here in this pigeon shape as we've been working into the adductors, the inner thighs as well. And then on your next out breath, let's make our way back up. Swing your left leg out in front of you, keeping the cross of your legs, so left foot over right foot. We're going to make our way into a crisscross fold. Lifting your hips up, you're welcome to keep a slight bend into the knees as you pull the chest to the thighs. Take a breath in and a breath out. Change the cross of your legs, right foot over left foot. Continuing to lift your hips as we open up through the hamstrings and the lateral lines of your legs, working into your IT band here. Uncross both legs and then root your feet into the floor as you take your hands behind you, interlace your hands behind the back and allow the arms to pull closer to the floor as we work into the shoulders. We can softly release that and then keep your knees loosely bent as you slowly peel yourself up to standing. High mountain pose on the in-breath, arms stretch long. On the out-breath, guide your hands into your chest. Charge down into the feet and then once again we rise. High mountain pose. This time we fold forwards, bow down to the floor. Welcome to bend your knees as much as you like. Halfway lift, breathe in. And then as you breathe out, step it back into a downward facing dog. Starting to wiggle the hips from left to right, just feeling into your calves and the backs of your legs. And then on that next out breath, we'll begin to lift the heels off the floor, sink your knees down to the ground. Come into a cow as you lift the chest through and then around the spine, contract fully as you push into the floor. And again, inhale, open it up. Exhale to round. Finding that energy as you lift the chest, peel the shoulders back. Exhale, protract the shoulders as you round. One more time, inhale, open it right up. And exhale to round. With that out breath, keeping the toes tucked, send your hips behind you in an active child's pose shape. Walk your fingers as far out in front of you as you can as you breathe in. Feel into a sense of spaciousness spread across the back of your heart, your shoulder blades. And then with your out breath, roll the body forwards, melt your hips towards your wrists, finding an up dog variation, peeling the shoulders right back with the knees grounded. Bend your elbows and lower your body softly to the ground. Couple rounds of Cobra, we lift the chest as you guide the heart forwards. Exhale, ripple down. And again, inhale. And exhale, soften. One more time, inhale, lift the chest, opening it right up. And then exhale, soften to the ground. Start to take your right arm to the side of your space now, bending into your left leg peeling the right shoulder into the floor and plugging your left foot into the ground. Feeling into the front line of your shoulder. You can gently make your way back to center and take your left arm out to the side. Let's bring it over to the other side. So your right knee is bending here as you find that little flip of the legs. And then slowly make your way back to center. Guide your hands beneath your shoulders, tuck the toes and slowly find strength, find control if you can. Make your way up into a plank. Push away from the floor. Take your hips back, 
downward facing dog. Okay, beautiful guys. On your next in breath, lift the heels and lower your knees till they're hovering off the earth, finding a hovering tabletop shape. Push away from the ground and we hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hips back, downward facing dog. And again, heels lift, hover the knees off the earth for five, four, three, two, and one, take your hips back in space, ground into your toes and into your fingers. Last time, lift the heels off the floor, hover the knees off the earth, finding a little bit of variation now, pull the right knee to the right elbow. Push away from the ground, we hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Step the right foot back and change sides. Left knee to left elbow for five, four, three, two and one beautiful step both feet back and then send your hips back downward facing dog on your next in breath reach your right toes back find your three-legged curl the knee into the heart space lean the weight forward onto the wrists and then take your toes back three-legged dog on the out breath lightly land in between your hands andreasana low lunge Reach into your fingers, find some space as you expand. Finding a twist now to the right, reach the right arm back and your left arm forwards. Take a round of breath. Listening carefully, start to lift your back knee off the floor. Coming into kind of like a Superman shape, <laughs> reach the right arm behind you as you stretch your left arm forwards. So coming into kind of warrior three with the right arm reaching back. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, guide your left knee into your chest space, eagle legs, squeezing left leg over right, and wrapping left arm underneath right. Give everything a nice tight squeeze. Find your focus, find your drishti. Slowly, take your time to come out of it. Keep the arms interlaced here, and then start to guide your left leg behind you. So working on a bit of stability and balance here, reach into the back toes. And then really slowly land your toes to the floor, finding warrior two legs. Keep your arms as they are, lift the chest. And then exhale, fold forwards with the arms as you lean the weight of the body down to the floor. Ostrich pose. Nice and slowly peel yourself back up. Warrior two, reach into your fingerprints. Give yourself an affectionate hug now. Wrap your hands around your shoulders and find warrior two, face the back. Nice and low to the left knee, breathing in. Breathing out, high crescent, now facing the back. So bend into the left leg generously. Okay, listening carefully, find a twist. You're reaching your left arm behind you and your right arm in front of you. You're welcome to stay here if you want to play. Find half moon with a twist. So you're reaching the right leg back, plugging the left foot into the ground. Take a moment. And then nice and slowly coming back into that same strong shape, twisted lunge, reach into your arms. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, give yourself a hug. We face the front, warrior two. Ground into both of your feet. And then slowly reverse. Extend out through your right fingertips. In a nice big movement, cartwheel the hands to the floor, low lunge. Listen carefully, glide your left knee down to the floor. Coming into this twisted situation, right fingers behind you, left arm presses into outer right thigh. Guide the chest open as you come into a nice juicy twist. And then nice and slowly unravel the body, left hand meets the floor behind you, lift the hips and explore this back bend here. Lightly land the hips back down, come into that same twisted shape, peeling the right shoulder back. And one last time, open it up, expand as you reach the right arm to the sky. And exhale, gently lower your bum back down to the floor. All right, we're gonna roll onto the left sitting bone now, and then guide your right foot up and sort of into the chest as you grab onto the foot with the right hand. Continue to drive that right knee back just as we were doing in the beginning. 
We are playing with a bit of compass action now, so let's try to bring this leg as far up onto the arm bone as possible. And you will have a rounded spine, your spine is in flexion here, that's totally cool. That will be necessary for this shape. Your right hand is on the floor and then you'll just play within your own range. So explore what you got, straightening, bending the leg and maybe playing with a full compass with a straight leg. So this obviously requires quite a bit of hamstring and adductor flexibility. So don't force anything, just play with what you got. And then nice and slowly bend into this right leg and just have a look at me before we go into this next shape. We're working towards our Astavakrasana, our eight angle pose. So let's place both of the hands on the floor in front of us. And then I want you to think about squeezing this right leg into the arm as much as possible. So really finding that nice cozy squeeze, that traction is really important. Otherwise it's just gonna glide down your arm and it's just gonna make it a little bit more challenging. So let's cross this left leg over the right foot like that. And then you wanna think about chaturanga arms. So chaturanga arms is elbows are bent and you wanna lean the weight forwards. So push forwards, lean forwards. You have to lean your chest forwards. This might be where you stay today, okay? If you wanna play with straight legs, squeezing those inner thighs together, I want you to start to glide your legs over to the right side. Inner thighs squeeze together onto that arm bone as much as possible. And then really try to think about leaning the weight forwards, otherwise you're not gonna let your hips lift. So leaning the weight forwards is really important for any arm balances, yeah? Okay, and then when you're ready to come out of it, nice and slowly, just lower your bum down. And if you're still playing, you're welcome to stay for another moment. We're gonna find a gentle fold here, whenever you're ready. And just allow your torso to melt closer to the floor, relax the shoulders. And then gently unwind, unravel, uncross the legs and meet in a yogi squat. Guide your hands into the chest as you press the feet into the ground. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lower the fingertips to the mat and find an Uttanasana forward fold. Wiggle your feet together and then lift the chest, lightly halfway lift. Exhale, fold. High mountain pose, we rise, stretch long through the arms, fingers, and then exhale, guide your hands into your chest. Once again, we grow tall, high mountain pose. On the out breath, make your way down to the floor, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, step it back. Take a very slow and controlled vinyasa. Upward facing dog, really feel into the opening. And then downward facing dog, let's take our hips back. On the next in breath, left toes sweep back, find your three legged. Hug the knee into the chest space, lean forwards and hold for a breath. And then take your toes back, three legged dog. Lightly landing forwards, low lunge, drop the back knee and stretch the fingers to the sky. Take your twist now, reaching left arm back, right arm forwards. Hold. Try to find as much range as you can within your arms and shoulders. All right, we're going to lift that back knee off the floor and take our Superman vibes, flying warrior variation, reaching right arm forwards and left arm back. Slowly guide your right knee into the chest space. Cross your right leg over your left, right arm underneath left. Eagle shape. Find focus, find connection. And then slowly pull the right knee back in, take your time, and then stretch your toes behind you. Flying warrior variation with your arm still connected here. Take another breath. Keep the left knee bent if you need to. Slowly we land the foot <laughs> down to the floor. Find your warrior two legs. And then lift your chest. Exhale, make your way into a fold. Nice opening through the hips as we continue to open up the upper back here with the arms. Make your way slowly up. Warrior two, reach into the arms. Find space and grounding. Give yourself a hug, inhale, exhale, warrior two, face the back. 
high lunge, still facing the back of our space. Swivel that back heel to face your right leg. Twist to the right side, reach the right arm back, left arm forwards. All right, from here, you're welcome to stay or play with that active twisted moon situation. So left fingers to the floor or maybe hovering as you reach the right arm up. Take another breath. And then allow this transition to be as slow and as controlled as possible. Drop the back foot down. Stay in your twisted lunge. I know it's pretty strong. Stay with it. Warrior two. Still facing the back of our space. Reach into fingers. Give yourself a hug, squeezing everything in. Make your way to the front, warrior two. Inhale. And reverse, open it up. Cartwheel the hands down to the floor, low lunge. Now glide your right shin bone down to the floor. We twist over to the left. Press this right arm into the outer left thigh and guide the left shoulder back. Bring your whole spine into the twist. Gently unravel, leaning over to the right, right hand meets the floor, expand, explore, open yourself up physically, energetically, and then lower the hips back down and twist for last time to the left. Gently unravel, last opening here as your right hand meets the floor, give your hips, your chest, front line of body a bit of a lift. And then with a sense of lightness, lower your hips back down to the earth. You're gonna roll onto your right sitting bone here. And then we guide our left leg into the chest and peel this left knee back. Left hand catches onto the left foot here. Take a moment, let the breath steady and slow down a little bit. Just have some fun here as we go into our deeper hip openers. All right. Right hand around the edge of the left foot. Try to bring this leg as far up onto the shoulder as possible. If you have tight hips, your leg is gonna be down here. That's okay, that's totally cool. Once again, this is all just playful exploration, yeah? So if you have full compass, let's go for it. And just take a breath. Let that left hip lift off the floor as it wants to. And then nice and slowly, when you are ready, you are going to bend into this left leg. Try to bring it once again as far up onto the shoulder as you can. Clamp this leg into that left arm bone as much as possible. Nice and tight, okay? So, create a bit of space with the other leg, both hands to the floor, thinking about chaturanga arms. Your right leg weaves around this left foot here. So find a bit, finding a little bit of a hook with the feet. Lean the weight forwards. Now you need to bend your elbows. If you don't bend your elbows, your elbows will be straight. You're not gonna lift your hips off the floor. So bend your elbows, lean the weight forwards. Again, this might be where you stay. You might play with straight legs, squeezing inner thighs together and leaning the legs over to the left side. Okay, I'm not mirroring you here. So just playing within your own body. Okay, and then when you're ready to come out of that, you're welcome to gently lower your hips down to the floor. Take a nice relaxed breath. And then gently start to reach the right leg out to the side of you. If you're not still playing, you're welcome to stay. Right hand presses into the left thigh. Reach your left arm up and over. And then gently press the hips into the floor as you're reaching in the direction of your right foot. And with a sense of softness, make your way back up. Lower your left fingers to the floor behind you and lift your hips, stargazer. Reach into your right fingerprints, breathe in. Lay lower your hips back down to the floor. Start to guide your right leg back in. Two options here. You're welcome to find half lotus, right foot meets the inner left thigh, or just place the foot in front of you. Reach the arms tall. And then take a twist to the right. If you like to play and you have the space, your right arm might weave around here and maybe grab onto the right toes. This is just optional. 
and then very slowly begin to unravel the body. Extending your left leg out to the side now, your right knee stays bent. Pressing left hand into right thigh, we work into our side body opening, stretching our lats and our obliques here as you reach the right arm up and over. Relax the breath. And then nice and slowly peel yourself back up. Right hand meets the floor behind you. Stargazer, lift the hips, lift the heart space. Breathe in. And then nice and slow, lower the hips to the earth. Finding our half lotus or just finding a cross-legged seat, whatever you had on the first side. Reach the arms into the sky. And then twist to the left. And if you found a bind, left hand grabs onto the right toes, peel the right shoulder behind you as you grow a little bit taller. You can gently unravel, facing the front of your space. Allow your hands to meet your knees and just find a comfortable seat of your choice. Just taking a moment to connect and find stillness. So if you need to shift your hips, from left to right, do that and just allow yourself to ground. Let's close down the eyes. Sense a feeling of space from your tailbone all the way up your spine and lift out through your crown. Sense the spaciousness from shoulder to shoulder and all the way across your chest. And then let yourself really land here. Notice how your breath gradually slows and finds its perfectly natural rhythm. And then maybe take a moment to appreciate the breath, the life that is given to you each and every breath, each and every day. It's so easy to take for granted until we pause and really tune in and realize the magnitude, the beauty that is all around us, that is within us. Just allow yourself to take that in. And then when you feel ready to, you can very slowly open up the eyes and guide your hands into the chest. And we'll take a conscious breath together to seal everything in, breathing in through the nose, opening and letting it go through the mouth. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed that strong and stretchy practice. Um, please let me know how it went for you in the comment section down below. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, if you're looking for the full length practice of this flow, um, that will be inside Tana Studio, which is my online membership platform, along with lots of other fun, juicy stuff like breath work, like meditation and shorter workout style movement practices. So you're welcome to check that out if you're interested. Um, otherwise, I post weekly here on YouTube, so remember to subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, thanks for being here, guys. I genuinely appreciate you being here and practicing with me. It's, um, it's wonderful how this community has grown and it really means the world that you continue to show up here and commit to this practice. All right, have a beautiful one and I will see you soon in the next flow.